morning, Hopkinton Middle School, and welcome to HMS Today. I'm your host, James Wesley. Today we'll hear from Mrs. Halnett as she gets ready to retire. You'll learn about cradles to crayons. We'll show you a new picture for Have You Seen This? And we'll hear what you had to say for the question of the day. But first, here's a reminder that the applications for school busing for 2016 and 2017 is now open. The deadline is May 2nd. Now here is Mr. Keller for a Minute with the Principal. Welcome to Minute with the Principal. The Grade 6 Ignite Homeroom Challenge was a phenomenal success on Wednesday night. Congratulations to all the homerooms for a spirited, enjoyable night. Thank you to the Ignite leaders and their leaders, Mrs. Kirschenbaum, Mrs. Daniel, and Mr. Carney. The great time was had by all. On Monday night, we celebrated our second annual Poetry Cafe. Thank you to the students who attended and showed amazing creativity in writing poems that evening. Thank you to Mrs. Norby for organizing this enjoyable evening and to Ms. Perot, our resident poet. They are already planning next year's cafe. Stay tuned. This past Saturday, the Special Olympics team defeated the Hopkinton police in their annual basketball game. Thanks to everyone and to Officer Powers, who once again led his team to defeat. Now, those of you who are in grade eight know that we made changes to our end of year Washington, D.C. field trip this year that involves us flying to D.C. and shortening the amount of time that we're there. We're looking forward to the trip and excited about it. However, we are examining it closely this year to see if we will continue with this trip in future years. So grade seven students, I'm talking to you right now. If you're interested in being a part of a committee as we look at this trip or alternatives to our D.C. trip, please send me an email indicating that you are interested in meeting and being part of a committee that will look at this trip. Again, send me an email and then I'll get back to you with details about our meeting. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and we'll see you on Monday. Thank you very much, Mr. Keller. And just so you know, today is an early release day. Dismissal is at 11.25 a.m. Now, let's spend a moment with Mrs. Hallinan before her retirement. How long have you been working here? I've been working here 24 years. And um, what are you going to miss about, about this? Uh, the people. <laughs> And the kids. I've been very lucky. We have had no trouble with the kids you know, all that time. You know, I've been manager for 15 years. So. And uh, so you've enjoyed your time here? Yes. Yep. And uh, what are you most looking forward to next? <laughs> uh, trying to sleep late <laughs> instead of getting up at 3. Uh, I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to sleep and watching some shows at night that I can't watch now. <laughs> and um, is there anything else you'd like to say? Um, I'd like to just show this if I can. This, when I started working here, this was our register. <laughs> that was the register that we had. Now we have computers, so this is a big, big change. Um, All right, and um, how would you use that? Well, it's, it's programmed, like lunches were back then, when I remember, it was like $1.25, and uh, you just press you know, $1.25 every time a lunch came through. We didn't have two different prices, it was only one price. And um, and that was it. It was just cooking. Each one had like a snack. If it was a snack, they pressed it for the snack. And uh, yeah, so it's different these days. And uh, what are some of the other changes you've seen over the years? Oh, um, the menu. Uh, like I said, we only had one price back then now we have two the amount of stuff we have like 14 different choices back then we had maybe two um, so there's been um, there's been a couple different food services that we've had I think we've had three since I've been manager um, so it's, it's different we have a salad bar and a deli which we never had Thank you for all your hard work, Mrs. Hellman, and cookies, and good luck. And remember that the Pennies for Patients fundraiser goes on until the end of the month, so bring in those pennies. 
Now let's hear about the charity Cradles to Crayons and how you can help. Starting on Monday, you can help make a difference in the lives of many people. Project 351 is hoping you can each bring in a couple pieces of slightly used children's clothing that can be donated to a local charity called Cradles to Crayons, which helps, which helps underprivileged kids in Massachusetts. Just think, you can transform the lives of others by giving items that you no longer need to use. Bins will be set up outside of the main office all next week. All right, this is when we would usually show you Mr. Rockwood's Fun Fact Friday, but we're going to do something a little different this time. If you have a fun fact that you'd like to see on the air, send it to Mr. Rockwood, and it just might make it on to HMS Today. Now let's move on to our last segment, the question of the day. This time we asked you, what is the weirdest thing you've ever said? Don't wear hairspray to hibachi. The cat just got stuck in a bag. My sister just gave me a wedgie. My flying llama is better than your flying llama. Ah, uh, saying yes to this question. The weirdest thing we've ever said is, It's, it's Wednesday, Wednesday, my dudes. <laughs> The weirdest thing we've ever said is, can, can we I be on, on the question, question of, of the week? week? The weirdest thing I've ever said is probably there's ranch dressing everywhere. Shalom, because I say it in math when I'm talking about a line and everyone gets confused. The weirdest thing I've ever said would be asking for honey mustard on pizza. I accidentally called the school and asked for a large pepperoni. Chase, you're smart. It's true. Who's your daddy? My pancake is soggy. The weirdest thing I've ever said is, you smell better when you're awake. Why are you pretending to have a mustache? Googies! Okie dokie, quizzy poo, and waka waka. The weirdest thing I've ever said is... Where'd my backpack go? Hi, Hi Mom! Mom. <laughs> I don't say anything weird. Sodded. Tanny wanny. Tanner tot. Uh, T-Pain. Yeah. Let's play Monster Squeeze. Get date in a bag. He was a skater boy. He said, hoi, manoy. <laughs> Those were definitely weird and a lot of fun to hear. Thanks for sharing. And now we have our one last announcement. Come and watch your teachers perform comedy, music, skits, and much, much more at the Staff Talent Show on April 1st at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. Okay, now it's on to the answer for last week's Have You Seen This? It was on the poster in the library. Congratulations to Joe Blodgett, Lillian York, Charlotte Pickyard, and Carly Stevens for finding it. I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name. Stop by the main office after school for your prize. Now here's this week's picture. If you know where it is, send us an email at hmstv at hillers.org and you could be our next winner. That's all for this week, middle school. And for HMS Today, I'm James Muzzy. Now to get out there and study hard.